morning. This is the 44th annual Troutdale Summerfest. I am Sharon Nesbitt and this is Diane Castillo-White. Welcome. And we're here to talk to you about and show you the Troutdale Summerfest Parade sponsored by Gresham Ford and the Port of Portland. Uh, Bess Wilson, Bob Avila are the Grand Marshals. This marks the 100th year of the historic Columbia River Highway and the parade is right on our historic highway. And of course, Gresham Ford celebrates Henry Ford building the Model T at the same time. So look for cars, look for fun. Glad to have you here. Okay, I believe this parade is underway with our Welcome to Summerfest banner carried by the Boy Scouts and with their color guard, Troop 174. Great way to start. And they are followed by a car from the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office. Which works out of Troutdale here. And of course, if you're going to be a Multnomah County Sheriff here, you also have to have a boat because we have rivers here in Troutdale. And so there we are with the river patrol. Yeah, that's a pretty nice boat. And walking, representing herself is Metro representative for our district, Shirley Craddock. She proudly serves our area, so any questions you have about Metro, you can just give Shirley a call. I don't think it means anything that there's an ambulance behind her. <laughs> <laughs> But that's an AMR ambulance, and of course, AMR are the people who do the swift water rescue for us here in Troutdale on the Sandy River. Great folks to have around. They also assist us on the Sandy River for many years. That program was started with the help of our ex-mayor, Paul Telleper, beloved. And now we have Boy Scout Troop. Well, what number are they? Troop number 174. And I believe that this troop started in 1948 and was started by the Troutdale Lions Club, so they have been around a long time. And they were very helpful this morning helping all the vendors get ready for Summerfest today at Glen Auto Park, which is going to be a lot of fun. Thanks, Boy Scouts. <laughs> Did you hear that? Some little kid says, smile, guys. It's not that bad. <laughs> it is a parade. It comes waste management and is being led by apparently one of their younger members. <laughs> think green, think clean. They're carrying the, or pushing the rolling trash containers. And you know what they do? They always polish this truck up really nice. You'd never know that it carried garbage. Oh, that's a lovely truck. I heard that they're supposed to be dancing recycle containers. I'm not seeing the dancing yet. I don't know, but they got good stuff in those recycle containers. <laughs> I presume those are new containers. <laughs> okay. Oh, he says they're trying to dance. <laughs> You know, they, they don't look like dancers to me, but whatever. <laughs> and see, isn't that a beautiful big truck? I love it. Coming up next, I see is uh, David Ritma, who is acting mayor in place of Doug Douse, who has gone this weekend, and Ritma has managed to fire up his old Caterpillar tractor and get a, a whole bunch of people, looks like city councilors, 
on the wagon in the back. Yeah, on that wagon, I'm seeing we have uh, Councillor Richard Allen, Councillor Glenn White. I'm seeing our uh, Planning Commissioner Chair, Tanny Stephenson. And also, Corey Brooks, he's our newest counselor. He's uh, served our military. Now it looks like he's ready to serve Troutdale City. City Council? Yeah, yeah, City Council. Oh, I love the pinwheels. Oh, I love the sound of the Caterpillar tractor. It's always such a miracle every year when Dave gets that thing started. <laughs> Last year they had a flat. It almost didn't happen. Last <laughs> minute they got her ready. Very nice to have them there. Oh, it looks like they have lots of friends with them, too. Yeah. More candy. Way to go, Council. <laughs> oh, and I see, shout out to Glenn White's uh, nieces. There's the triplets out there. <laughs> and aunties and sisters. <laughs> Corey Brooks, new counselor, his lovely wife, pushing uh, their two lovely children. There's Hi, yeah. Sophia. Coming up is our Grand Marshal. This year it is Bess Wills and Bob Avila of Gresham Ford. Bess Wills celebrates the whole notion that Henry Ford built a, a car just for the historic Columbia River Highway. So they are the uh, Grand Marshals and part, part, partial sponsors of this parade. We're really happy to have them here. And I guess that's a Mustang, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Always great cars from Best Will. <laughs> Thank you, Bess. Oh, next we have John Wilson. He's also a counselor in the city of Trout. Yes, oh. he's showing off, everybody. Listen to the great roar. John Wilson, Troutville City Counselor. This car of his is the last one he and his father restored together. It's a 1963 for Corvette. And coming right behind them is Zach Hudson, who is running for position six on the Trattano City Council, and he and his dad, Jerry, are playing old time music. One abrupt stop, and they'll be playing it on the pavement. Zach and Jerry. Ah, that's a great sound. Zach serving our community and also an awesome fiddle player. He's been on the budget committee, the advisory committee. Nice to have him here. And the next car up is Lori Mamas Anderson in a convertible. She is our current state senator. Has served previously in the legislator, legislature. And her supporters. And some nifty marching behind. Also walking with her is Chris Gorsick. He's also running for state rep this year. And now we see coming up after them, Choi's Taekwondo. Oregon's oldest Taekwondo school, teaching respect, discipline, and bully proofing for ages three and older. Well, I wouldn't mess with those kids, would uh, you? No, <laughs> especially when they're in that lovely group. <laughs> oh, it looks like they're going to show us some moves. This is going to get exciting. There we go. They're so close, we're so white. Oh, look at that! 
Church Bible school starts Monday, they say, and these are ages three, four, and five. I I don't know whether they're fishing or they are the little fishes. Little fishes. <laughs> okay. And the next one. Nice to have you in that boat. Is the River of Life Church, and this is a pyramid coming up. It's a very nice pyramid. And they want to let you know that Bible school starts on Monday. So if you're interested, there's still time to join in on that fun. I like their palm trees. We don't have that many functioning palm trees in Crotdale. <laughs> and after that, the Reynolds Preschool. Nice to see them here. Some kids walking, some kids being towed. And they say they're a high quality preschool with affordable tuition. So that'd be nice to check out. Oh, I believe the Shriners are coming up next because I hear I hear motors. Okay, so this is the motorcycle patrol. And then here come the crazy guys in the cars down the street. Crazy guys in the cars, they're always fun. Oh, they're doing a salute. Looks like they're gonna give us a show here in a second. Here they go, here they go. The al Desert Patrol. I've never yet seen a hat fall off. I want to let you know they're a nonprofit group that support 22 hospitals for children in the Shrine Hospital Network. And their specialty is the hospitals that treat burns, spinal injuries, and other things at no cost to help children's families out. And riding those quads just seems mildly dangerous, but they seem okay. And they do love making noise. <laughs> and I believe that would be 
an alligator police car. <laughs> just to make sure they behave. Followed by a Thunderbird, no, is that a Thunderbird or a Corvette? Sorry. It's a Corvette. Still with and the Shriners. And the Shriners Calliope, which was uh, built in 1926 on a locomotive body built by Freightliner at no charge. So the Calliope is still my favorite. Here's your sinuses. <laughs> and then the Al Qaeda Support Club following them. Nice to have such a big turnout. Once again, helping children at six at Shriners Hospitals all over. Oh, and more bubbles. Nice to have, this is a large group here, that's very nice. It's very nice, and still loving the bubbles. Thanks for coming, Alcator. And here comes Mount Hood Realty next. Balloons and I assume realtors. That would be a good guess, right? Yeah, I, yeah, I think that's a really good guess. I think they're in town now. Did you guys just move up the hill? Yes, they did. <laughs> yeah, we have some new neighbors in Troutdale. <laughs> Welcome to Troutdale in any case. And then U.S. World Class Taekwondo. And a dog. Do you think the dog does Taekwondo? Uh, we'd have to ask. A dog and a bear. Oh, and they've been awarded the best martial arts school by the Gresham Outlook for the last five years. So they're always taking new members, so you can check them out if uh, you're interested in joining Taekwondo for a lot of discipline, self-control. Oh, and then they okay. have programs from children to adults, so it's really oh. nice to see the kids here. And they're kicking things. <laughs> That's always fun. They're kicking things. That's good. Oh, and they have a booth at Summerfest, so they want you to stop by. And there's Reynolds High School Theater. And their next show is uh, Big Fish, I think. It's Magical Mystical Story of Big Fish on November 3rd and 12th. And they do have a big fish with them. I can, ooh, with pink lips. And next is a as candidate Michael Cacano for uh, state, state representative. Yeah. And right now Michael's serving on the school board at Mountain Hood Community College and he's he has a slogan and he wants to serve on Oregon legislature for better jobs and stronger schools. And I think Calcano has relatives also that are joining us in Troutdale too the businesses so supporting business as well. And here's Michael with balloons. Hi Michael It does seem that there must be an election brewing because I see a lot of candidates. <laughs> yeah, we have Tammy Arnold and she's running for the state senate. And she wants them to give, give East County the voice it deserves in Salem. Tammy also wants to fight for stronger schools, more family wage jobs, and a healthier, safer community. Looks like she has a lot of sponsors here today. I like it. And just to make sure she's carrying a sign that says, I'm Tammy. That way we all know. <laughs> And she's a practicing registered nurse, and she also serves the community in different in different capacities. Tammy's on the Derby City Council, and she's also on the Mount Hood Community College Board of Directors. And she's president-elect for the West Columbia Gorge Chamber of Commerce, Surrey Troutdale. Thanks, Tammy.
And then they, they run in this, moving this banner up and down, so I have a tough time. Oh, the trap now comes in on August 7th. Okay. Oh, and this huge balloon machine is coming. Oh, I love the balloon thing. Anyway, this celebrates the trap now comes in. And she's making wonderful big balloons. Not balloons, bubbles, you idiot. <laughs> they look like balloons. <laughs> big bubbles. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, so. And then we have Amanda Brown. And Amanda Brown is. Trapdell Kiwana's terrific kid for 2016. <laughs> what a great thing. And then a purple Mustang. Club of Troutdale in a very fashionable way. Wow. And next we have Top Flight Gymnastics. Oh, there they've got their sign turned around. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they do recreational and competitive gymnastics. And they're doing wonderful, wonderful performance in the street. Good for them. A great mini limber little girl. They've been around for over 30 years and they participate in a lot of state championships. Nice to have them here. After that comes the Open Door Baptist Church. for almost 40 years in Troutdale, so they've been neighbors for a long time. Starting Monday, July 25th with Vacation Bible School. And that's from 9 to 12, and that's from kindergartners to sixth graders, and they hope you come join the fun. But it's fun to have all the kids marching in the parade. It is. This seems to be more kids to me than usual, and I really like that, because that's fun parades. Makes it fun. Oh, look at the kid just dragging his feet along by the side of the trailer. This mother will not find any soles on his shoes by the end of the night. <laughs> Welcome. Nice to have you here. Next up, Lori Stegman. Running for Multnomah County Commissioner. Yes, she'll be in the general um, election in November. And if she were to get that position, she would be representing Troutdale as well. And everybody remembered to bring their t-shirt. Yay! <laughs> There's Lori in the back of the truck. And I believe Lori is serving on Gresham City Council at this time. Yes, she is. So she is currently serving, serving East County. And she's oh, in another. Tootsie Pops. <laughs> Darn. Sherry sure got distracted. Tootsie Pop alert. Looking at the children's candy. Watch out, kids. Good luck, Lori. Oh, this is uh, James and Ashia Davis in a 1915 Model T Ford, which was the year that the highway opened. How wonderful. <laughs> Good to have them here. It was rebuilt and owned for 12, the last 12 years. It's a beautiful Ford. Reynolds Little League next up. They're playing baseball and they're our home team. They've been around for over 25 years. Lots of nice kids. We were talking about this theme as community this year, and it's really great to see the kids. 
Except, you know, it's interesting because most of the old people are running for office. <laughs> Gearing up for fall ball. It starts in September. Okay, then next up, world champion Taekwondo. There they go. Located in Gresham Town Fair. Gelati's Italian ice, and look at that old truck. And I don't know what year it is, but isn't it lovely? Must be Glenn's old truck. Uh, Glenn Mackey, I think. And you can visit them next to the Safeway in Troutdale, so yeah, hot day, great place to go. Mango's my favorite, if anybody hasn't gone there yet. I like root beer and vanilla. Next up is the Spencer Lund Agency Farmers Insurance. I guess the child on a tricycle belongs to, oh, the, with the training wheel. Oh, two kids on training wheels. Lovely. Two children on training wheels. That's a big parade for training wheels. And now, following them, the uh, more gymnastics, Rager Elite Gymnastics, walking on her hands. Okay. If I did that, my back would break in the middle of the street and they'd have to carry me away. Good thing you're not doing it. <laughs> I'm not, I, uh... Very talented the young ladies. Thank you. Oh, now they're going to stop and do something down here. Oh. oh, that's awesome. Very nice. That's exciting. This is uh, Jeremy Hoyt coming up, I believe. He almost always appears in our parades with old military equipment. I think I've got this name right. James Hoyt, excuse me, World War II veteran. And uh, look at the shape of that truck. Isn't that just wonderful? Nice to have you in the parade, thank you. James Hoyt, nice to have you here. And we have the next coming up. We have the Troutdale Lions Club. Troutdale Lions Club is, I'm sure, the oldest service organization in Troutdale. Started in the mid-1940s at some point. And their volunteer of the year is Kelly Brumall. Kelly Brumall. 
Volunteer of the Year is their award this year, and Broomall is seen all over town doing all sorts of stuff. Trattdale Historical Society, and all. and he's not even here today. I understand he's busy doing something. But, but Lions Club are good at recognizing people who do great things in the community, and they do great things themselves. And then the next one up is Trattdale Tree City, USA. We forget that we are in Tree City, <laughs> and this is the Parks Committee. And we have Charlie Foss and we have Carol Allen leading the way, representing. Oh, I didn't. I missed the lion with the lion's coat. Oh, there's a lion. Oh, yeah, he's a skinny lion. He needs feeding. And let's see, we have another. Is this the end? This what? possibly is the end. Uh, okay, well, I think we're followed by a Multnomah County Sheriff's Office car, and unless he's making an arrest, this parade is over. <laughs> but don't forget to go to Glen Auto Park. There's tons of things going on, lots of entertainment awards for Citizen of the Year, Youth of the Ward, Sam Clock's Humanitarian, all sorts of great music. Face painting, you could buy a wristband and get to do all sorts of fun stuff. So we hope all of you will join us at our funnest park in Troutdale. Glen Auto Community Park. Well, you know something? We have just wrapped up the 44th annual Summerfest Parade. The thing I liked best about it this time was how many kids we had in there. It was a <laughs> kids and politicians, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's our community, but lots of fun. And so we hope you'll continue the fun at Glen Auto Park. And uh, thank you to Metro East for filming this for us. This is one of the traditions that they do as well. I'm Sharon Nesbitt. Diane Castillo-White, thank you for watching.